Hey guys, Ian, the master of pieces here. I'm an eBay reseller, and in this video, I wanna run you through 35 of my most recent sales that I have made on eBay for profit. Now, to make the most profit, I've had to source these items as cheap as possible. So I've bought things from charity shops, car boot sales, or from swaps with other resellers, in this case, Connor, the Welsh poker picker. So I hope that this will show you just the variety of stuff that I sell, whether it be different types of items and also different price points. So. Enjoy! First sale of the video and I do not know what is going on in the Micro Machines world. Literally yesterday I sold two other big Micro Machines sets and today I sold this huge van. I paid four quid for this one at the boot sale, it's not complete, there's a lot of bits missing inside and no Micro Machines included and that has gone for £20 plus postage. I mean wh why are Micro Machines selling now? I've had these listed for about two months and all of a sudden three sell within two days. Ian, the track master of pieces, is back. I paid a pound fifty each for these. This is Shooting Star Gordon. You can see he's got a Shooting Star on the side, and he comes with his tender and a little carriage there. That's not complete. That should have some on the top that spins. That train there has gone for twenty six quid all in. And this is my what I was going to say favorite track master train. It's not Stephen Thomas was my favorite track master train. This is a very close second. This is Duck. And he has sold for 20 quid all in. This is Schools Out Frankie Steen, a Monsters High doll. Paid a pound for it in the charity shop and she has gone for £12.50 plus postage. We've got a little pocket mastermind set now. There it is. Paid a pound at boot sale for this one and that has gone for £6.50 plus postage. Now I am never going near this game ever again. I've actually bought this one twice. The first time I bought it, paid a couple of quid, but it didn't have all the pieces. So I found another version for a couple of quid. That one did have all the pieces. So I basically bundled them all together. It's a full set with extra pieces now. The top is open, that is not a good sign. I'm gonna have to make sure everything's in there. That has only gone for six quid plus postage. Really not worth the effort. Now this is the Wiggles singing Dorothy the Dinosaur from 2006. Put batteries in, tested and working. Got this from the recent poke pickup and you guys need to keep an eye out for this because she sold for £22.50 plus postage. All right, what I'm looking for next is that Sony Discman tucked away at the back there. Now I got this at the boot sale for two quid and I got it that cheap because if I get the light right, look how scratched that lid is there. Look at that, absolutely ruined. All the screens all scratched, but I put batteries in there. It does work. And I sold it, even in that condition, for £12.50 plus postage. Now, what we have here are two Alice in the Looking Glass Funko Pops. I got these from the latest poke pickup, and they just weren't worth selling individually, particularly because neither of them had the boxes. So, sold them as a pair, and they've gone for £6.50 plus postage. Christmas is coming because we sold Rudolph the Reindeer. It actually looks like he is flying. Well, it looks like he's got a bit stuck up there. Let's go and rescue him. Now this Rudolph, if you put batteries in him, sings Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and his nose flashes as well. Now this particular version has sold for £13 plus postage. Now I cannot believe that this has actually sold. This is one of my most long-standing items on my eBay store. Christmas really must be coming. This is a Build-A-Bear My Little Pony and it's called Dash. There's a little Dash symbol there and it actually comes with this kind of rainbow coloured shawl there. 
Now, I, I can't even remember where this was from. Probably a charity shop would have paid a couple of quid. Dash has sold for £11.50 plus postage. Really nice, quick, simple one here. We've got a thousand piece Ravensburger jigsaw of the Muppets. Paid a pound in the charity shop and that has sold for £8.50 plus postage. So I've not really sold much Imaginex before. It seems pretty big, pretty chunky, plasticky and generally low value. And I found that with this one, we've got a go-kart here and I bundled in a little cheetah character. You can just see in there. Paid a pound for that in the charity shop and it's taken a while to sell. It's only gone for six pounds plus postage. But I'm not going to give up on Imaginex yet because I think there are a few decent bits out there. And I've sold my final KitchenAid Slicer and Dicer attachment set. Well, actually, I've sold this one before, but it got returned because the buyer, well, it just didn't fit with their machine. I guess they didn't have a KitchenAid. I don't know. Whatever reason, it got returned. But it is sold now. I only paid £5 for this, and that one has gone for the full asking price, £26 plus postage, global shipping program to Italy. And probably the cheapest item on my eBay store has sold. It's this little Schleck seal. The buyer messaged me to ask the, for the dimensions, so got the tape measure out, sent them across, and it sold. £3.50 plus postage. I got this as part of probably one of the poker pickups ages ago. So yeah, finally sold. Now this is a nice little sale. What we've got here is a transformer, and this is Ironhide from the Hunt for Decepticons range. Got it in a plastic bag because it's got all the accessories with it, and I didn't want any of them getting lost. That one there is sold for £22.50 plus postage. Next up, we've got a 1993 Royal Dalton Jemima Puddle Duck. It's a classic Beatrix Potter ornament. Got this as part of the latest poker pickup, and that one is sold for £10.50 plus postage. Next up, we've got this Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat X Teddy. It's got the tag on. The tag is a little bit creased, but it's in, it's in pretty good condition. Got that from the poker pickup, and that has sold for £7 plus postage. Now, this is a nice little sale. I picked this Star Trek Sulu figure up from the charity shop for six quid. It is Wave 2. It's by Art Asylum. And I took a leaf out of Ricky Lee's book here, list it high because there were no others listed on eBay. And then I could always drop the price if it didn't sell. Wow, it has sold. It's taken about a month, but Sulu has gone for £50 plus postage. Really chuffed with that. Next up, we've got the Scooby-Doo Gang plus... A mystery machine. Now those aren't from the same set. I got those from the poker pickup and I paid 50 pence for that mystery machine but bundled them together and they have gone for £9.50 plus postage. And we've got another really nice transformer sale. This is a deluxe class Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. Got the gun somewhere in there. There you go. You can see it. So it's all complete apart from the instructions. That has gone for £35 all in. And this absolute beast of a Shrek Teddy has sold. He's absolutely huge. I'm trying to just give you a good impression of how big he is. He's about 20 inches, if that means anything to anyone. He's from 2003, Universal Studios, and he has sold for £15 plus postage. And now on to a much smaller item, because we've got this David Beckham sticker. This sticker is from the 1998 Premier League football album. Hey, look at that. Lego Dream Team player. I've got the Beckham Dream Team sticker. That's selling for about £100 at the minute. I've got it graded by SGC. I've got it eight. Keep this sticker back to claim a free poster and set of 11 exclusive shiny stickers. So that is how you actually got that back in the day, using that back. That's really cool. Didn't know that. Anyway, this one has gone for £13.50 plus postage. Now this thing has been hanging around for ages and I'm pretty fed up of seeing it to be honest. We've got a Build-A-Bear Cheetah. And the only reason I bought this, well one of them's fell off, is for these Skechers Build-A-Bear shoes. They are pretty cool to be fair. Um, I would have paid one or two pounds maybe for that in the charity shop. It was so long ago, I don't know. And it's only sold for £7.50 plus postage, but I am glad that it has finally gone. Now, who remembers Tazos from back in the day? You used to get them free with your Walker's Crisps. And I got this from the latest poker pickup. It is the folder, obviously, but it is complete. I think there's 50 of them in total. And there are some extras in the back as well um, from other sets. Now, I didn't bother splitting this down, sold it 
all as one complete lot and that has gone for £25 plus postage. Nice little track master bundle now. We've got Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle. Just make sure that it's the right Thomas. So yeah, this is the older style Thomas. It's not the revolution version. Don't know where I've got this from. Could have been boot sale, maybe a pound each or from another bundle. Who knows? But that sells all the time for about £20 all in. Now what we've got here is a 1995 Beatrix Potter ornament, so similar to the Jemima puddle that we saw earlier in the video, but this one is called Peter Ate a Radish. Peter Ate a Radish, see on the bottom? Now he's definitely eating a carrot, that is a carrot, all day long isn't it? That is good, wow, anyway. I am glad that this is sold pretty quick, it's sold within three or four days because something like this, particularly that carrot there, in one of those boxes with things going in and out is going to get damaged. So I don't mind packing this up. I'll wrap it up really, really well. And Peter Rabbit has gone for £9.50 plus postage. Next up, we've got a wrestling belt. And this one has sounds. You can push various bits of the belt and it does make a sound. Key thing to remember, does it have the Velcro? This one does. Paid £1.50 at the boot sale. That has gone for £10 plus postage. Next up we've got an Airfix starter set. This is a Spitfire, comes with the paint, the glue and the brush. Paid 50 pence at the boot sale. That has gone for £8 plus postage. Next up we've got some laceless demon scale predators. These are a small size, they're size five and a half. Pretty reasonable condition, they have been used and the thing with white boots is they do get stained pretty easily. But I'm sure they could be cleaned up a bit better than what I've done. Paid three or four pounds at the boot sale. They've gone for £18.50 plus postage. Now this is an interesting sale. Well, if you're into that type of thing. I got two of these boxes as part of the poke pickup. This one is Napoleonic Wars. This ESCI. And basically it's model figures. They're one in 35 scale. There's 14 of them in there. The box has been opened and they've been taken off of the like plastic housing. But none of them have been painted. Well, we've got Napoleonic Wars. That's the British infantry. And here is the French Imperial Guards. I've sold them both as a bundle. And they have gone for £20 plus postage. So I sold this SpongeBob SquarePants remote control car. Big issue with it though, the steering doesn't work. It turns left, but this wheel is a bit wonky and just, yeah, it doesn't turn right. It goes forwards and backwards well, but yeah, I had to sell it as not working properly and I made that very clear in the listing. Even so, he sold for 11 pounds plus postage. And Stitch has sold. This is a Disney store stamped Stitch. There we are, you can see there. Paid one or two pounds at the boot sale. I'm guessing it was a while back. I thought this one would sell really quick, but it's hung around. But he's finally sold for £12.50 plus postage. I was surprised by this sale, and it's sold within three hours. It's Fast and Furious, the six movie collection. Brand new DVD, sealed. If I get the light right, there you go. You can see what I paid for it. £1 at the boot sale. Someone had pushed the biro a bit harder when they were writing the price. But that sold for £10 plus postage. And the final two sales to show you, I picked up a massive box of toys for 12 quid and these have sold already. What we've got here is a bootleg Jason off of the Halloween movies and it's by Mannix Monster Mayhem. That's the brand of the figures. There's no identifiers on the figure for date or manufacturer, nothing like that. Really, really strange figure and not many up on eBay. That one has sold for £20 plus postage. And these two here are from the Titan Megazord. You've got the Green Ranger portion and this is the Blue Ranger portion. I bundled those two together for £12.50 plus postage. And just to finish off the video, I've had a cancellation. And guess what? It's those KitchenAid slices and dices. This time I actually got as far as wrapping it. And then when I went to look for the address on eBay, couldn't find it anywhere under sold. And it's because they requested a cancellation. This, when it sells, maybe will be the third time it's sold. Hopefully if it sticks next time. I'm just going to leave it on the shelf box like that maybe. Who knows. But anyway guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe and I'll catch up with you in the next one. See you guys. Bye bye.